Welcome to Republic. This is an episodic game where you try to help a woman escape. And you do that by looking through security cameras and basically controlling the computer systems around her. It's a really interesting concept, one that I've only seen explored in one other game, called Experience 112. And I think that there's a lot that can be done with the concept, so I'm really excited to see what they do with it. Republic actually originally came out for iOS a while ago, but what I'm playing right now is the remastered edition that just came out for PC. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, you can grab it from many different places and for many different devices, and I'll have links to all of that in the description. Let's begin. So yes, this is an episodic game, and at the moment, three episodes have been released, two are yet to come. Face the pages of this manifesto. This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! Where is it? Not the defaced manifesto. Where is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. <gasps> I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? I did not call for please rack. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. It's not like that, Derringer. I can handle this precal myself. Look, I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place. I am talking about this, you idiot. Poison for the mind. It's just a manifesto. Not just. It's been contaminated. These are the words of Zager. Zager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We are taking I her didn't to read anything! I am child, Derringer. You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. And watch your step. Watch your step. You ever shut up? Bring her a blanket. I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow.
Good evening, citizens of Metamorphosis. As we make our final preparations, we must be extra vigilant. Recent events have brought us the capture and killing of a man whose sinister, disgusting actions caused no small amount of grief. You know who I am referring to. I will not speak his name again. But even though he has been eliminated, other threats remain. Just tonight, another treasonist was attempting to infect the minds of our youngest and brightest with lies, masquerading as divine text. This Mimeo apostate will be dealt with in the same manner as the one who inspired him. Keep a watchful eye out for our Republic, my friends. And in return, she will watch over you. What's the difference? There's no way you can help me from there. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. Are you sure about that? Did you do that? Did you open the door? I don't know who you are or how you're doing this, but somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? Okay, let's go. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, I seem to be in some sort of a... I guess, I don't know if this is a prison or just some sort of a compound. Uh, apparently, I'm some sort of a criminal in, I guess, a fascist state or something? Because it seems at least a Derringer wants to... What did he say? Recalibrate me? <laughs> Simply for reading something that I guess was... Know? No, no, I'm here, I'm just talking to the audience, don't worry. I guess I'm considered impure, and I need to be recalibrated for reading, I, I guess, things that go against their political positions or something. Uh, basically thought police. Hello. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. My name's Cooper. I am communicating with you in text-to-speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. I am the one who found the phone in the girl's room just a moment ago. I've returned the phone to her because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. 
I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. So I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link, giving you access to our facility's online network. It is called, OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of sight, you'll need to scout ahead for her. The rest I'll explain as you go. Good luck. I'm sure you can. Hack it in this place. That was a joke by the way. Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. I don't believe that was actually the guy that just found the phone in her room. I mean, it could be. But, I don't know, I'm very suspicious. Especially since I don't even know who I am. I mean, how did I get here and why am I trying to help her? Ah. Uh, can't unlock it yet, need a higher version of my software or something like that, I suppose. I've seen a bit of gameplay of this, by the way. I'm not going in completely blind. I watched probably like a half hour of somebody playing through uh, a little bit further in the game, but still near the beginning. So I know a bit about the mechanics. Obviously, you can move the camera around, zoom in and zoom out. And when you enter this OmniView, you can switch between cameras. Need a pin code for that door. Okay, so if I can get the door open, then I can give her something. Some sort of a supply that's in there. Looks like a storeroom. There's somebody in here. No name. No medical history. Possession of contraband and treason. Scheduled for recalibration. <laughs> the contraband is probably just a, a book that has ideas that they don't like. And that's probably considered treason. Arrival proceeds as planned. We will not be swayed by cowardly acts of terror. Stricter punishments for traitors urged. I heard the powers that be are secretly hoping for some kind of an attack to justify all these new security measures. And while they would prefer it to be bloodless, I suspect they'll take anything. Perhaps they'll even carry it out themselves to ensure it happens before the arrival. The arrival. That doesn't sound good. Also, search for Zaker narrows only days until capture. Do you think maybe that's the person that the headmaster was talking about? Said, like, somebody... He mentioned some person who'd done vile things and that they wouldn't even... He didn't even want to say his name. You all know who I'm talking about. I wonder if that's Zaker. Yes, madam. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madam. A good reminder. Use the cameras to see what's in the next room. It's also level 5, so I can't open that door for a long time. Aliases, aliases Don Fubar. <laughs> PTSD, borderline personality disorder. Charges racketeering and impersonating a public official. So this person has committed crimes as well? That's strange. How did you get this job? Also, they're a Kickstarter backer. Yeah, this game was on Kickstarter a couple years ago. I 
I once spent some time stuffed in a locker. This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular in high school. <laughs> well, there's actually a poster specifically mentioning that places where pre-cows can hide in. So I guess a pre-cal is probably not pre-calculus. I guess that's probably pre-calibration. I guess they have a lot of problems with pre-cals trying to uh, avoid calibration. Oh, can I hack this so he receives a call so it forces him to uh, basically distract him? I probably can. Looks like one of my colleagues has left a pin code sitting out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. How convenient. 4318. This is P0 brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl in the bottom left corner of your screen. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. I found some pepper spray. Yeah, that's more of a last resort thing. I really don't want to use that unless I have to, because ideally you wouldn't even be seen in the first place, you wouldn't need to use it. Now what is this pickpocket thing? I guess I should try pickpocketing the guard? Let's see what this does. Oh, I can't do it. Alright, let's wait for him to come here and then turn around again and I'll see if I can pickpocket on him. Oh, do I have to use pepper spray to pickpocket? I need... Oh, I, I guess he would tell if I just stuck my hands in his pockets, so I need to disable him temporarily. I think that's what it's saying. I think that's a taser, and I'm not sure what that is. Alright, let's just get out of here. Tonight. Oh, there's some more pepper spray. P zero here. Recently, the children in Metamorphosis have become more brazen in their attempts to take things from the Prizrak. Surely, this was Xavier's influence. The Children in Metamorphosis? Is that the name of the place that I'm currently in? Got him. Zega killed in firefight with Prizrak. The depravity of this man was boundless. Best to remove the comments section for the online edition. <laughs> Change shot dead by Prizrak to killed in firefight by Prizrak. 
This way, it suggests he was given a sporting chance. When the surveillance video of this day surfaces, and it will, it's going to require major surgery if they want it to look like justice. Obviously, any so-called news from such a fascist uh, state or organization or whatever the hell this is, is obviously going to be more propaganda than anything. Level 1. Could I unlock that right now? I don't even have version 1. What's down here? No charges, no medical history. Last month, a pre-kale got their hands on a canister of pepper spray. They blinded a loyalist Prizrak during routine inspection. Despite being obnoxious, this poster makes a valid point. The girl is less likely to attract attention if she walks softly. So they put up kind of like propagandish posters basically instructing me on how to sneak around and avoid their own guards? What? I get that they're just here for like tutorial sake, but it's a little bit awkward. No, oh, whoops, I just locked it. Ooh, this looks like a good place to be. Looks like some sort of security command. This is a battery charging station. Certain Omni abilities will drain the battery on the girl's phone. You'll see her battery life displayed in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Direct the girl to any recharging station to juice up. Hmm, I guess I get special abilities or something. Haven't taken a look at the map yet. Let's see. It's a pretty cool looking map. I like it. Good idea. We can recharge here. Alright, so currently elevated security status. So so I'm assuming if I do crazy stuff like just running around, getting seen, and, and pepper spraying guards, this is probably going to go up and they're going to get more aggressive. Maybe faster guard cycles or more guards or something like that. Collected contraband is up by 47% in recent months. For a secure location, you would be surprised by what we find in their pockets. Hey there, you just found a data broker terminal. These are located throughout the facility. Any data you collect by scanning items in OmniView can be traded to the data broker in exchange for new Omni abilities. Omni abilities are valuable tools for gathering information and assuming control of the girl's environment. Welcome to my domain. 
What in the hell have I gotten myself into? Okay, I'm speaking to a demon. What would I like to purchase from the internet demon? A newspaper for 50 monies. It's an expensive newspaper. Oh wait, no, is that... Oh, that's to sell. Never mind. Well, hell, if somebody wants to pay me 50 bucks for that, sure. What would you like? Hmm. Oh, so this would allow me to hack the phones, I think. To use them as distractions. I have no idea what the other ones are, though. Free email exchanges. Ah, that's too expensive. Voicemail messages. Monitor phrase wrap patrol routes. Lower phrase wrap away from the trolls. Well, let's go for the one that I can afford. Voicemail messages. Sorry to see you go. All quiet here. Pepper spray. Grand Theft Auto in possession of contraband. And a history of PTSD. I really don't understand why these people are actually working as guards. It doesn't seem like a good idea. Ooh. Gentlemen, I am not going to explain this to you again. Mireille Prado can him and haul all she wants, but that is not in charge of security. I am. You transfer copies of the children's fingerprints to my secure server, or you can consider yourself reassigned to the graveyard shift. Okay, I learned two things from that conversation. One is that Derringer and Mirai really don't like each other. And the other is that this answering machine from the future actually has the ability to self-bleep messages. That is really cool. I guess the answering machines of the future are a hell of a lot better than the ones today. It's a, it's a smart answering machine. It has its own apps in an app store. Ah, uh, so I need to buy the other thing to be able to read the email. The Prezrak waged their campaign against Zagor from this very room. The following conversation was recorded two months ago. Listen, Prizrak, calling the man a menace doesn't give him the credit he deserves. Put another team on scrubbing through the footage. I will, sir. Though so far the camera network hasn't been terribly effective. Zager's a human being, not some phantom. He casts a shadow like the rest of us. And I'm giving you more than you should need to find him. Now, should that prove too difficult for you? No, sir. I understand. Watch your step. Ooh, there's a lot of emails I wish I could read. Not sure where that goes. What about this way?
a fingerprint scan. It would be terrible if this got into the wrong hands. They would have a lot of power at their fingertips. Ha <laughs> ha Hint, hint. Counterfeiting in possession of contraband. PTSD and bipolar. These people have some serious medical histories. Like, these are very serious conditions. My god. Perhaps this is stuff they had in the past and they got... What? <laughs> adjusted? I mean, if this process of being readjusted actually really works, which it probably does, and they just wipe you clean, then maybe that's what all, where all these people came from. They're using the offenders, the committers of crimes, to actually do the guarding. And just basically utilizing their... utilizing them as a, a workforce. I mean, they basically would become a blank slate, right? You can do whatever the hell you want with them. Have them watch each other. That actually would make a lot of sense. This is Quinn Derringer. We've had another instance of someone screwing with the generator over at the power station. I ordered that fingerprint reader installed a week ago. I want it done today. Is that understood? Call me back when you get this. And I suggest you give me the news I want to hear. Okay, I've come full circle. Let's see. So I think I want to go through there, right? Mm-hmm. Looks like he's walking away at the moment, so we should be safe to go. This place is beautiful. Hey, Clark, you can sleep in your desk. Come on, Derringer wants us to lock up the atrium. I had a dream I won the lottery. Yeah? What was the jackpot? Ten thousand. You gotta dream bigger than that if you want to buy your way out of here. 10,000. Let's go through this door. What kind of a jackpot is 10,000? Normally it's like a million. Can you hack the door? Why can't you open it? Hello. It is Cooper again. You cannot open that door with your current version of the OmniView software. You will need to update your software at a daemon server. Upgrade to version 1.0 and you can open this door. Then, you can get the girl to the library. The nearest demon is in the commissary on the other side of the dorms. I will add this waypoint to your Omniview. I will also highlight this location on your map. Proceed with caution. I love the emoticons that he constantly has. It seems like you have a plan. What do we need to do? Uh, first, let's get into cover. Although, why is this highlighted? What's up with this? I hope they can't see me here. 
Oh, it's a hiding spot. Alright, just couldn't get any cover. Let's check the map. So where do I need to go? I'm assuming this means that's where I need to go. That requires a key. That requires level one. I don't have it. Key. So I could go that way or this way, but it looks like I'm supposed to go that way. I think. So is that here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this place is so lavish. They put an incredible amount of money into this into this building here. Quiet tonight. Yeah, it looks like this place is called Metamorphosis. Or Metamorphosis? Or is that just how Metamorphosis is spelled? I think it's just how it's spelled. With an O, not an A. Can't tell if they're trying to get fancy like they got with the, the title, Republique. Racketeering, possession of contraband, PTSD and OCD. Rack, I just received an alarming message that 933W was seen leaving the library wearing one of our uniforms. He may be heading back your way to find that girl he's been crushing on. Notify me immediately if the actions of any of our agents seem in the least bit suspicious to you. Zager's secret compound discovered. Inside the rat hole, sources say pornography, drugs everywhere. Zega almost certainly had other hiding spots. Even Derringer suggested as much to me the other night in a, uh, interview? I'm not printing this, of course. Makes him look bad. Makes them all look bad. You can't be perceived as having crack security when a crackpot is living in your walls rent-free. Pornography and drugs everywhere. I doubt that's actually true, but even if it was, so I guess in this fascist place, pornography is banned? I guess that's not surprising, is it? S settle down, children, settle down. I am as anxious as you are to acquaint myself with Miss Prideau. She is a most welcome addition to our Republic. And to that end, I would like to present her and all of you with this small gift, a symbol of longevity and the relationships we look forward to watching take root. Thank you so much, Headmaster. As one who will be so singularly focused on the well-being of these young, bright minds, I am truly humbled. I cannot express how sincerely I am looking forward to getting to know each and every one of you. I wonder if they're trying to turn people over to their way of thinking and making sure that they start young with children when their minds are the most malleable. There's a guard there. Oh, 
Okay, so I want to get through there. No sign of the girl. I guess they've noticed that I've escaped. Um, oh, there's some pepper spray on that table. Wouldn't mind having it. My pockets are full. Oh, gotcha. Reporting. I can't carry anymore. This is the girl's room. 390H. Of course, this isn't what she calls herself. Okay, so we're back here. Let's see, how close are we to our object objective? This place is huge. I think we still have a ways to go. You hungry? Here you go. Aww. What does the world look like to you? Fishy, I'll tell you a secret. I like a boy who lives on the other hall. The one we call Weep. He sits beside me in history class and he's adorable. I'm too shy to talk to him. Pyramid flags flutter in the wind. His voice carries above them, singing a promise to lead these men to honor, protect, and love them. From his garden perch, he keeps us secure against the forces of evil. He spares our minds the hollow allure and fraud of Zager's upheaval. The Republic stands and will for all time Safe from ruin or disaster. Because he is watching out for us all, our noble and wise headmaster. Ugh. Forced to praise the headmaster. Poetry homework. Oh god. <laughs> homework. Wow. That is really sick. Three nine zero H, my dear, my inspiring pupil. I know you're not accustomed to gifts, but this is more than just some trinket. It is a secret between you and I, and it cannot be shared until we are both ready. So I will keep the key for safekeeping until the two of us agree to open it together. Until then, I hope you will treasure its beauty as much as I do you. And when you gaze upon it, I hope your thoughts will be of me. I wonder if one day I'll actually get to steal the key from him and open it. See what's inside. Wait, so this is actually a secret camera, isn't it? It's in an air vent. Hmm. It's kind of strange. I mean, I would say that they're trying to keep the fact that they're always watching her a secret, but obviously they aren't because this camera is just blatantly here. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. The girl has found one of the banned books. The Overseer has banned many books inside of Metamorphosis. 
as the poor librarian upstairs once said, it is better to ban a book than to burn it. Talk about taking lemons and making lemonade. I wonder if there are more books like this one lying around. I think that's it for here. Going on in there. Oh, is this a bathroom? <laughs> that image. Multiple cases of libel and public intoxication. Zoophilia and swollen with evil. Okay. This is just funny Kickstarter backer stuff, isn't it? I, I shouldn't even take this seriously, should I? Yeah, there's no way. There's something here. What is that? Oh, it's another banned book, I suppose. Ooh, he's looking at the pretty butterfly. Look at it. How did he get in here? Looks like he's transfixed by it, so I suppose I can just go grab the book. No, don't go that way. Go this way. What do you... What do you... No, right here. Oh, okay, fine. Go the other way. Whatever. Or don't. It's right there. It's right there. Why won't you get it? She doesn't want to go towards it because she thinks she's going to be seen for some reason. Oh, you, oh there you go. Say, look! He didn't see you. He can't hear you. He's deaf. He's transfixed by the butterfly. Can I, like, uh, look at the books or something? Might be in my inventory. Oh, yeah, and this is myself. Possession of contraband, serial offender. Oh, here we go. Japan had the sense to try and then fine a translator for dragging this garbage into Japanese. Out there beyond our walls, Lady Chatterley's lover has a reputation as sidekick to hormones in adolescent awakenings. Puberty is a delicate time. We need to cultivate it as a plant in a garden. We cannot teach them control with this floating around. I assure you, we know better than Lawrence. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I think I better end this episode here before this episode becomes over an hour long. Because they could easily become that because I'm very intrigued by this game. So, so far my impressions are that it's very intriguing. It's got some uh, some very interesting characters and I'm really interested in the world, reading all these snippets of emails and phone conversations and stuff like that. Like, I'm really curious just what's going on. What exactly makes up this place? I mean, I kind of get the, the gist of it. Some sort of totalitarian, fascist, uh, repressive kind of place and they just reprogram anybody who thinks differently than them pretty much tightly controlling anything that people read propaganda controlling the news all that sort of stuff but what exactly am I I mean who am I why am I here why am I helping her 
And there's obviously a hell of a lot that I still don't understand. So I'm really curious about the world. And I'm also surprised how gamey it is. It's actually a very gamey game. In kind of a bad way. So the only point of comparison I have is Experience 112, which is the only other game I've played that has a gameplay that's even somewhat similar to this. And Experience 112 was very... Uh, I'm not sure what the right word would be. I guess authentic? I don't really want to use the word realistic, but it was pretty authentic. You had control over cameras, and you could hack compu computer systems just like you can here. Um, however, the way that you interacted with stuff in the environment, and especially the way that you interact with the main character, was very different. So, if you actually think about it, if you're just controlling cameras or a com the computer systems around somebody, how would you actually tell them where you want them to go? If you think about it, it would be very difficult. So in Experience 112, the way you actually move the main character around was basically by blinking lights. So you had control over the light system. So any light that you could see, you could actually just, like, turn it on and off. And that would tell the character to walk towards there. So your control of the character was very kind of indirect. You couldn't tell her directly what to do or where to go. You could just tell her kind of general, I want you to go here to this light. And you're at the behest of whatever lights are in the environment. So very indirect. And you couldn't do anything too crazy. I mean, any kind of hacking that you needed to do, uh, finding out of passwords and stuff like that, you had to actually do yourself. It wasn't like you just pick up a note and you instantly have the password and it automatically uses it. You would have to find the passcodes and you'd have to sort through emails yourself and you would have to write down the codes and then enter them yourself. Like, it was very authentic and it was a very cool experience. I actually felt kind of like a hacker after playing that game, and it was pretty cool. And this is a lot more automated, it's a lot more gamey. So the controller for the character, for example, you can directly tell her where to go. Which is weird, because I, I don't think there's any in-universe explanation for how you're telling her to do this. So I guess what's actually happening is you're basically controlling two characters, right? You're controlling yourself, who's controlling the camera and hacking the computer systems, and you're also controlling her. I guess that's what's happening. It's kind of strange, though. I, I think I'm fine with that part. But it is a little bit strange. I think the part that I'm a little bit less fine with is the sort of collectible stuff. The fact that you can find news items and then you can just sell them on the data market and purchase upgrades. I mean, that, that is so ridiculously gamey. It's really silly. It, it's just straight up silly. I can, I can feel my immersion breaking, falling into tatters. Seriously though, it's really silly. I kind of wish they didn't do that. So it's just, it's definitely a lot more gamey and a lot more simplified than Experience 112. But it's also very intriguing. It's got some great voice acting. Uh, the sound design is actually really exceptional. It's not typical that I actually recognize a game as having good sound design, but this one really does. It's really great sounding. Some really good performances so far. I know they have some serious voice talent, too. They even have Jennifer Hale. I'm not sure who she voices. But yeah, they have her. And I think there's quite a few other... At least one other pretty big name actor, although I don't remember what his name is or what he's been in. But yeah, they got some great talent. And I'm just really intrigued to keep playing to see what's, uh, what's going on in this in this universe. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.